We've finally returned to one of our favourite water parks to see how it is now. Oh. Now it's reopening. Yes, we're at Alpamare here on Scarborough's yeah. North Bay. And Flamingo Land have taken it over alongside the help from the council from last December when the last operator went into administration. Let's go and check it out. It were ideal for the younger kids to have a splash around in the little baby and toddler area as well as a mini slide perfect for the big kids like me as well to take the kids on it be prepared to get wet too but also have some grown-up time as you head to the infinity pool overlooking the stunning north bay it literally helps you feel like you're on holiday here in Scarborough then it was time for the wave pool, splashing with the kids. And no water park is complete without going on the slide. So hi ho, hi ho, up with the inflatables, we go. much the old Alcamare as it stood other than that the star is an open and yes but I am going to chat to the owner now to see if there's any tweaks or any things that we should expect in the future. What's it like opening here on your home turf? It's really rewarding. I've got to put all that personal stuff to one side, really, because it's not about me. It's about uh, Alpamari, the water park, up and running, and uh, a wonderful job rewarding everyone that's done a, um, a great job on getting this far. Uh, but yeah, secretly puts a big smile on my face thinking uh, I've managed to help get, get the building heated and the lights on again. And other than Alpamari, where do you recommend going to in Scarborough? Well, this good day the seaside probably and um, on the wet days we've of course got a wonderful facility indoors as well but I've been here as a customer at night time in winter and, and that was pretty magical you know nice and snug in the hot water overlooking the fantastic bright lights of Scarborough with steam coming up and uh, yeah that was quite special really. And can we expect the spa to be back open at any point? Yeah well my team keep telling me off for being too optimistic I've wanted this done for opening but um, perhaps that was a little bit too ambitious but having said that um, it was right to focus on the, the main target but it shouldn't take that long to get it operational it's a good state of repair up there we've been working hard on that side of it and um, probably plan to bring back people running their own businesses under our umbrella up there locally to get it up and running soon but I won't make any promises I keep getting told off for doing that. <laughs> and will, you, will we see any theme park rides here in the future? Uh, absolutely not, this is <laughs> completely different. Interestingly the plans I saw for the original concept had a fifth ride which I'll be investigating um, in the fullness of time and there was also a lazy river um, plan for as well. I don't know whether that actually achieved planning permission or whether it was just a, a conceptual drawing but um, very intriguing and I'm actually speaking to the owner of Alpamara on Thursday so I'll be picking his brains about both of those. Oh and also there was provision for a, a lift to get the inflatables to the top of the slides which being a, a father of a lot of kids and uh, having to carry those uh, four-man dinghies up um, I would say that probably was sensible um, way to spend uh, any profits if hopefully we create them in the future. What did you think? It was great. It I had a lot really of fun. Good. The slides were really entertaining and there was a lot to do. And I liked the wave pool. Holiday. It I did like, feel like holiday. It did. I liked the wave pool and I liked the infinity pool because you could lounge on it and you could lay in it and it was really nice. Bringing the Baydos back to Scar Baydos. <laughs> well, there were smiles all around from us as the park is set to reopen. And as we all hope, it's here to stay. Save me, Lan Scarborough.